So, hey, this is the third time I've recorded this. I just can't seem to say what I have to say. This is a memorial to Shannon Lorette, without a doubt, along with a guy named Truth Calkins, who is a wellness-oriented person, uh, without a doubt, most influential people in my life, Shannon Lorette and Truth Calkins. So, um, and those are the two divisions of who I am. The only other person you could add into there would be uh, this guy right there, on tattooed on my arm, which is Klaus Schulze. Three people in my life, uh, two of them still living, Shannon not, um, died on Friday of a mysterious uh, genetic disorder, nerve disorder, um, decided to do himself in because uh, he was in so much pain. I don't. I don't know what I would do in that situation. I don't have an opinion about that. Um, I was starting to get into body modification before I ever found out about BME. I was um, 34 years old. I'm 50 now. Almost 50. Uh, kind of had a few like tattoos here and there and um, all under my clothes and I kind of after finding out about BME started stretching my ears and well they were they were minimal but um, I was a very shy person kind of quiet couldn't uh, couldn't express myself like I do now that's for sure I mean that's that's like people are blown away by that it has everything to do with Shannon um, I do want to say something right away, something that I read today online about Shannon. I want to get this out there. Um, Shannon was a big advocate that we are all artists. And one of the things that he said that I read, which is very profoundly true, uh, you know, art is crushed. The art artists, we're all born artists. Um, and, and that's crushed in us by society. And um, I read something that Shannon said that basically you give a child a marker and the first thing they want to do is draw on themselves. Because our whole nature is to create and recreate ourselves. So I paraphrase that. I don't know. I got the gist of it right. But that's pretty profound. And... and for me, that was very empowering. I was just a complete lost soul until I started doing all of this this stuff. And I have a pretty amazing back tattoo. I have uh, crazy these conches on the inside, which are not something that a person wants to do every day. I have brands. At one point, my um, my dick was pierced uh, four times. I had a large gauge PA and amp long. Um, and two uh, large gauge frenum piercings. That's down to one now. But man, that just gave me me. That's 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 what society is missing. I'm 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 a big advocate of creating yourself, of you making yourself. There's not much you get to choose in this life. But I'll tell you what, through body modification, that is like really for me. It was completely empowering, and I really have to draw a line. I don't want to sound like I'm being judgmental, but I'm 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 a total advocate of the whole modern primitive thinking, and not so much in the least the whole shock value punk kind of thing of trying to shock people. Because I originally did not like to talk about modifications, and I basically my modifications were myself and were a signature of myself and I really didn't in fact when I went out in public I, I would have liked to have this was 99 98 that's about 99 is when I started becoming very noticeable uh, 99 98 you know I think it was about probably about 2001 when I really started getting comfortable with 
being kind of a, a weirdo, a freak, whatever. And I love being a weirdo and a freak because I fucking can't stand the idea of being normal. How fucking boring. It's boring, boring, boring. But this is about Shannon and, and it's about me too. That's why I wanted to get on here because I wouldn't be who I am without Shannon. And this blog, Shannon reached so many people from living... I mean, he was a reclusive person. I knew him well. I never met him in person, but we had so many conversations. And I can't tell you how many times, like, I knew he was, like, world famous, but, like, where he was actually somebody that, like, answered your mail, like, all the time. And as somebody that's a musician and who somebody's, like, I just released a record, and I don't think I ever want to lose touch with the personal touch that Shannon had of, of somehow winding to all winding up to always connect with people. Um, um, I, I I've missed a few people on this blog, but anyways. So um, Shannon's leaving behind a beautiful uh, um, young child. Um, a lot of his awesome artwork. Um, and certainly lots and lots and lots of people that he affected and um, as I said I really love Shannon Lorette and I don't know who I would be without him and it's it's pretty sad to me that he's gone now usually always do a song of the day or an episode on this. Um, without a doubt, that would have to be the band that Shannon introduced me to, Spiritualized. Song of the day is I Think I'm in Love, off of Ladies and Gentlemen, We're Floating in Space. I love Shannon Lorette. What an awesome person in my life. 